what would you say if someone asked you, what's the secret to all life on planet Earth? <laughs> yeah, that's tough. So here's a clue. You can't see it, touch it, feel it, or taste it. If you guessed oxygen, <laughs> you were pretty close. You just need to stick a carbon atom between those two oxygen atoms to create the molecule that's the secret to all life on the planet. Carbon dioxide, or CO2. Oh, you say you're mostly a big thinker, and you don't mess with atoms or molecules. Then maybe you should consider how CO2 impacts the big picture of your life and the lives of everyone and everything that you love. Look, there's only one reason we're alive, and it's because Earth is one of the rare planets with an atmosphere. It's made up of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 1% argon, whatever that is, 1% water vapor, and less than one-tenth of 1% of what scientists call trace gases. Now these trace gases are made up of stuff that are essentially double-edged swords of life. Ozone, neon, helium, methane, and ta-da, our star player, carbon dioxide. They're called double-edged swords because they can both help give life and harm life. Hmm. For the past 800,000 years, carbon dioxide never rose above 300 parts per million. Yeah, that little fraction's hard to fathom. If you tried to slice it from the atmospheric pie surrounding Earth, you'd need a knife finer than a spider web to extract that itty bitty sliver from the entire atmosphere. Being so incredibly small, geez, how much can that matter? Well, truth is, it matters to everything that lives. All forms of life, uh, that'd be you too, begin or are sustained in the food web by the process of photosynthesis. Plants, including algae, take in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and use the power of the sunlight mixed with water to create two things, glucose and oxygen. And those two things allow everything else on the planet to create and sustain life. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? So really, no matter what you eat or what living thing you see, cool and green or warm and furry, they're all really created from atmospheric carbon dioxide that was converted into various carbohydrates. It's simple chemistry, right? So when someone asks you what that tree, dog, fish, or a person is made from, your cut to the chase answer could be from thin air. Or that thin sliver of CO2 you can't even see in the atmosphere. Okay, you're no environmental dummy. So by now you've got this uneasy feeling growing in the pit of your gut that the harmful side of that double-edged CO2 sword is about to slice in to the future of life on Earth. Unfortunately, for all the creatures that depend on us humans to protect their planet, you're right. And next, we'll decode in simple science how we let that delicate balance of atmospheric CO2 spin out of control and its impending impact on life as we know it. <laughs>